What's up guys, it's Diom and I'm here because um, many of you have been asking me to do um, some Twitch streams and that kind of stuff and I, I haven't been much of a streamer in the past, mostly I've done videos, but I decided I would give it a shot. So the other day I set up my Twitch, it's Diom Gaming, uh, just like it is on YouTube. And uh, Fwa was the first person on the Twitch stream, so shout out to Fwa, thank you man. Uh, it, he was helping me just kind of test it out and do some different things and he gave a suggestion. I said, okay dude, I've got this crazy whale account. I mean, you guys have seen my account. It's, it's crazy. I said, can you help me build, from what you can tell on this account, the fastest C12 team that you can come up with? And so he was like, yeah. So in chat, uh, in Twitch, he gave me some suggestions. And so this team is crazy, um, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it together and let you guys see it. So basically, here's the team. This is the this is a speed team for C12. It's not for everybody, uh, but it's just the fastest one that with my tunes we could come up with. It's um it's Eve lead, and um, I'll let you see Eve here. She's got um, you know that 50% attack lead. She has her AOE. Um, uh, her AOE ability, her AOE S3, that's fully skilled up. She doesn't have all of her skill cats, but she does have this one that does the 50% of all living allies attack damage. Um, and then uh, Light Spirit Orb for her skill 2. She's on uh, mostly drain runes, but you've got, um, a cat, a I think it's attack, crit damage attack on her. Um, and she's close to 100% crit damage. I don't know if you guys saw that, but she's uh, she's got close to 100% crit damage. Uh, I mean, close. To, she has plus 100% crit damage, but she has close to 100% crit rate, and about 4,000 attack. So it could be a little better, but but that's it. Then you got Shaman here. Obviously, he's got his Voodoo Curse. His runes aren't that great, but they're there. Um, speed, HP, hit, um, because you really want that Voodoo Curse to uh, attach itself to people. Then you've got Bone King, and this is where Bone King really shines. Um, he's got uh, you know 3,000 attack. 169% crit damage, and here's why that's important, because his S3 here, Piercing Halo, while alive, all allies' attacks have a 70% chance to deal more damage. Initial multiplier, multipliers one time for every 30% of Bone King's crit damage, increase the multiplier by 0.05. So you want him to have high crit damage there, and then of course his S2. Um, and then you've got Cleo here for her uh, Eye of Horus Revive um, and her uh, invincibility. She also has a, a, an S1 that does a uh, defense break uh, or uh, reduces target's defense. So that's the starting four, and the order to that is important. So it's got to be Eve, Shaman, Bone King, Cleo, and then last has to be Archmage. Now, uh, my fastest run is probably one where I would borrow somebody else's Archmage, and here's why. This one doesn't have skill ups. Actually, on my free to play account, my Archmage is sanctified and fully skilled up, but on this one, um, he's not, and so, uh, but you want Mana Blade on there, and um, you want him to have, you know, of course, attack, crit damage attack. You want him to have a high chance of critting and a high. Uh, hit when he does crit, you want it to hit hard, and so um, crit rate, crit damage could be a little bit higher. His attack is, is actually okay there. So this is the basics of the team, and so what's going to happen is they're they're um, they're not fully tuned, but they're pretty close to being tuned what they need to. But Shaman's going to go. He's going to put his Voodoo Curse up. When he puts his Voodoo Curse up, um, more than likely. Eve is going to nuke the entire first wave. And so this is crazy. Boom, Voodoo Curse. And then Eve nukes, almost nukes the first wave. Second wave, obviously you have to target the boss. Um, but really quickly here, he's going to go down. Third wave, you target the boss again. And, you know, of course you can set it to do that in your settings. Um, but the crazy thing here is uh, this the Mana Blade. Um, when Voodoo Curse gets put up, and uh, between, between Eve and Shaman, the damage that they do is just insane, especially if occasionally they'll get nuked and uh, Cleo will revive them. And so their, their skills are, um, yeah, like this right here, Cleo will revive them. Their skills are all on cooldown. And so now they're refreshed and they're able to just nuke him out of the bat. So 
Um, there's one run, 44 seconds, not the fastest, but some of this is a little bit of RNG, still pretty crazy fast for a, uh, a speed C12 team. And uh, I'm going to let it go again and see if we can get a little bit faster team. Obviously, as you guys saw, if I were to improve some of the runes on some of my tunes like Shaman uh, or Archmage um, and uh, speed tune a little bit better, then I think that I can get this team even faster. But um, I don't know if you saw at the end of that last run, but my fastest run with this team so far is 24 seconds. And so we'll see if we can beat that in the days ahead, but that's still pretty crazy fast for a C12 team. I would love to hear uh, what teams you guys are using. If y'all have uh, team comps that you found to be really good, especially if they're more accessible. I mean, obviously in my free-to-play account, I don't have Bone King, I don't have Cleo, I don't have Eve, and so this team would not be a team that I could use in my free-to-play account. I could, I could substitute a few t tunes for some of these, but, um, but there's no way I could get down to that speed um, on my free-to-play account. So um, would love to hear what you guys are using, especially for free-to-play. There's 40 seconds. Um, there we go. Let's see what we get here. Rune ship. By the way, People complain about C12 and, and about the rune drops. And I just got to say this, okay? C12, the, the purpose of running those catacombs is not just for crazy runes. I mean, runes are runes are good, and you want to be able to sell them, you want to be able to make Kali and that kind of thing. But the crafting components for runes is also available. You also can get um, Ascension Cats. You can get, I mean, all kinds of things can drop EXP cats. So those things dropping, in my opinion, are more of the reason to run C12, L12, Hydra. Um, and I, I know that people are going to say, like, Lair is the best use of your time. And, yeah, that's true. But there are some runes that you need to get, especially if you're early to mid-game. Um, even if you're in game and you don't have these runes, like you need berserk runes, you need some other things. There's 37 seconds right there, so um, you don't get those from Lair. You, you might get the quartz for them from Lair, but you're not going to get the runes themselves from Lair. So, um, in my opinion, these dungeons still have viability, and especially since they've increased the drop rates. And it seems to me, this is just uh, just my playing a little bit, but it seems to me that they've added more of a chance to get some of the other um some of the other like skill cats and not skill cats but um, ascension cats and those kind of things that they've increased that rate a little bit which actually is not a bad thing because there's going to be a point in time where you're wishing you had more ascension cats where you're wishing um that you had the ability to craft a specific type of rune that was a guaranteed five or six star rune like a desperation rune i mean before hydra came out the only way you could really get those, um, or the best way to really get those at the higher level was to craft them, and um, you got that material from running Colossus, and so, um, or these, these different dungeons, Colossus, Leviathan, etc., Catacombs dungeons. So, um, I am a fan of the dungeons, and I think the other part of this is it's a game. So, if you have fun doing things like this, trying to figure out a speed team, or um, running, uh, running things uh, a little differently. If if you enjoy that, then why would you not just play it? I mean, you don't have to complain just because somebody else is complaining about the game. Okay, I really think that this game is a fun game. I think it's enjoyable, and yeah, if you wail really hard, you might get bored. But let's be honest, that's just about every other game too. If you wail too hard, too early you're going to get to the end, and the only thing that's going to be left for you is PvP or Theory Crafting. That's like Whaling 101. And so just know that that's probably going to happen if you spend a ton of money in this game early on. You're going to get bored, but that's any game. And if you hang on, the devs are actually at a really fast pace uh, updating the game, adding things in, and all of that. So I personally am a fan. I think it's worth... Um, investing, pursuing, uh, trying to build up, because I think the game's going to take off. And um, 
and I'm I'm having fun with it. This this C12 team was kind of fun, like you guys are seeing right here behind me. It's not 100% consistent. Um, I still have some tweaking to do. I have some updating to do with uh, some of the runes and some of the tunes in here. Um, but you also have seen that this uh, speed right here of 24, that is my best speed with this team. And it was literally with this exact team. I didn't use some other tune. Um, I had been using uh, the wrong passive on Bone King, so I switched his passive, and then that next run I got 24 seconds. So that's the team, and um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I would love to hear what you're using. I would love to hear what you like about um, running these uh, different dungeons. If there's if there's a dungeon that you like running more than others, um, or a reason to run them that other people can get behind. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it, and I'm going to leave you. Uh, with one last run here from Colossus. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos.